Welcome back everybody, my name is Mr. Dave and we are currently doing on the IGCSC ICT October, November 2023 paper tree. Now in this video we'll be tackling on task 4, question 10. Question 10 itself starts by asking us to insert two new columns to the left of column A. And then we are to insert in column A the text as shown, format the spreadsheet to look like this. And then here it says the cell C1 to G1, I1 to L1, and N1 and N2 have been merged and center aligned with 16 point white text on a solid black background. And we are to wrap all text as shown. All right, so I'm going to put the question paper somewhere at the bottom right of the screen. Uh, I'm using, I'm currently using OBS so that uh, you can see that question on a overlay. And myself, I can see the question on a second monitor itself. So I can actually check the questions um, from here. All right, so the question asks us to insert two new columns to the left of column A. And that is very simple right here over in the Excel. We just need to highlight or select all of cell A and then right click to select insert and then we'll, that will insert one column to the left for us and then we're going to insert another one uh, as the question asks us to insert two so then insert in column a the text as shown so in this question paper all the towards section right here we are to put on the months and everything that's there so starting from cell a2 which is row two right here we can type out month. So begin typing this in month, and then we can type out previous month. Oh, sorry, previous month is all together. And then we can put in all of the months right there. Just select that little um, small cell so that I can drag, and this will automatically fill in for us. Now, as we can see, the previous month is actually overlapping to the other cell. We can just double click this so that all of these can be placed correctly in, within the cell box itself. And on column A, you can see that most of the, um, the column A, you can see that most of the months are actually right aligned. So we can go back to home and then we can select right aligned. So everything can be right aligned over here. So we are to format the spreadsheet to look like this. So you can see that cell B, all of it is actually minimized. And then we can do the same thing for all of cell H and then all of cell column M2 as well. So this is actually quite small. If you want all of them to actually have the same length, you can hold control and keyboard and then you can just um, make the changes and all of these three columns will have the same length all right other than that let's go and merge because it asks us to merge a few certain things so income all the way to cell g this will be merge and center and then this one to expenditure um, also merge and center over to i to l and then profit and loss is merged this way all right furthermore um once we merge we need to make sure the 16 point and white so let's change this to 16 and then um, this will be background color black and then this should be white same goes 16 and then color white and this one as well color and then this should be white all right so um the profit and loss is actually like this. And the, the thing that we need to do for all of these one is to wrap all of the text. All right, we gotta make sure that this is wrapped text. And let's make the profit and loss to look exactly like the question paper. And then the rest of these, we can select everything right here and ensure that this is in the center. And these doesn't have space in my places, so I'm just going to extend this a little bit. And I'm going to extend this as well so that the entry and freeze um, are all centered. And this one too as well, making sure that this is also center aligned and also vertically center aligned as well. And then same goes to the balance one too. 
ensure that this is centered and this is vertically centered too. Now you can see that the month mine is very huge. So I'm just going to make sure I'm pull this a little bit and then the sizes are, are the same. Now, furthermore, the question does not really have, um, it's actually in dotted lines where you see those papers. So it doesn't mean that you need to put in borders because dotted lines in the question paper, uh, it's just showing the columns and the cells uh, easily. But in this, you don't have to put the borders actually. And I think that's basically it. If we confirm, all of these should be fine. These are all centered and merged, okay, at the top. And then most of it are 16 points. Oh, I forgot some one last thing. I did not make this as 16 points, okay. Um, that's actually very large. So I'm just going to extend this. All right, it looks uh, well with all things that we need to have. And I think that's pretty much it for this question. Looking at the mark scheme, how do we get nine marks out of this in question 10? It's we insert two new columns to the left of A. We have all the correct cells merged and centered. We have the back, the black background, and we have the white text of all the uh, the text that are required to format, and that's uh, a mark four. And then cell N1 and N2 is wrap as shown. And then most of all of column A was red in line. Rows one and row two are center aligned, not column A. All right, if we want to check that, all of these rows one, one, two is all being uh, center aligned. And checking the question back again, we have narrow columns of B, H, and M, which we did. And then the numeric data was right aligned. Okay, I think. All of our numeric data are followed according to the question. So all these questions are also right in line. So we don't really have to do all those things, but rather our questions was the same. If I just pull this in, because initially all these questions are, or the values are already right aligned. We don't really have to change them. And then, and that's basically it for this question. And I hope this video helps. See you in the next video. Take care.